Hi, this is Mr. Weston. Today I'm doing a walkthrough video for Simplifying Fractions Sheet 2. This is for MathSalemanders.com. Make sure to check out MathSalemanders in the link below. They have amazing math resources and worksheets. Make sure to check those out. Today though, we're simplifying fractions. So we're going to start with number two. This is the easiest, the easiest example to start with. And I really like to think of pizzas in terms of of understanding fractions. So if I have a pizza, and this particular pizza is composed of eight total slices. So when we're looking at the denominator, that tells us the total amount. And then the top tells us the part, okay? Or the, the one we're interested in, the one that we're using, okay? It could mean a whole lot of things. But in this case, it's just the part that we're interested in. Oftentimes it's like the shaded region for math problems. But we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate this. Okay, so I'm going ahead and draw my eight slices. It's not going to be perfect, but it will get the job done. Okay, and next I'm going to shade in four of those. Okay, so obviously there's a simpler way. Let me shade this a little bit better. There's a simple, simpler way to write this expression. What does this look like in terms of the entire pizza? Is there a more simple way to express it? And it turns out there is. If you look here, we can see that this is essentially one half of the whole pizza, okay? Or you could also think of this as this is, let me show you real quick. We could consider this two-fourths of the whole pizza. So what is a simplified fraction? Why is it useful? And why are we needing to do this? And what is the process of doing this? So a simplified fraction is simply the simplest way we can express this without the numerator and denominator sharing factors. So in this case, four and eight do in fact share factors. Let me go ahead and erase this. What are the factors that they share? Well, if you want to, you could list all the factors of four. So in this case, we have one times four, and then we have two times two. And for eight, we could list those ones, and we have one times eight, four times two, and I think that's it. So what are the shared factors between these two numbers? You can see here they have two, they have two, they have four, four, and one is always gonna be a shared factor, so I'm not gonna go ahead and circle that. But we're gonna look for the greatest common factor between these two to simplify. The greatest common factor just means the largest one that they share. So in this case, I'm gonna divide both the top and the bottom number by four. Why can I do that? Why don't I just do that to the top? The reason why I can do that is if I'm dividing by four over four, essentially what I'm doing is I'm dividing by the number one. Four over four is the same thing as one. And if I divide by one, for example, 10 divided by one is still 10, I don't change the value. So I can in fact divide both the top and bottom by four, and that's what simplifies it. They have a shared factor, we can split it into simpler pieces. As in the case of my eight slice pizza, if I were to only split it in half, Okay, and then I give you half and I keep me half, or I keep the half for me, then that's still half of the pizza. If I were to cut it up into eight slices and give you four and give me four, that's doing the same thing, but it's overcomplicating it, right? There's a simpler way to do it. Essentially think of uh, simplifying fractions as using the least amount of cuts possible for your pizza distribution. So if we divide four by four, back to the example, four divided by four, we get one in the numerator, and then eight divided by four in the denominator, and we get two, and that's our simplified fraction. So the step-by-step -step process is one, find the GCF of both the numerator and denominator, so that's number one, and number two, divide by GCF. And that's it, that's all you need to do. Sometimes you mistaken a number for the GCF, and then you realize you have to simplify further, and I can show you an example of that in a, uh, in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and start with this. If I wanna list the factors of 14, I'm just gonna list it in list form this time. So that's one, two, seven, and 14. For 20, it's gonna be one, two, this one has a lot more, four, five, 10, and 20. So you can see here, we're gonna look for the GCF, the greatest factor of these. In this case, it's gonna be two. So I'm gonna divide the top number by two, the numerator, and the bottom number by two, the denominator, and I get seven over 10, and that is my simplified fraction. Let's go ahead and jump to another one. Okay, so for number nine, and nine twelfths, excuse me, number three, I can look for my fractions, uh, numerator and denominators, uh, common factors. And this is where it's really helpful to know these 
by memory so I don't have to list them each time. But I'm going to list them for your sake because I think that makes it easier to understand. 12 is a little bit more. And we can see our greatest common factor for this one is 3. So we'll go ahead and divide by 3 to the top and bottom. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So this is a good example for a pizza. If I had a pizza, let me make it a little bit more circular. Okay, and then I were to divide this into 12 pieces, pieces this time. So that would look like this. I'm just do it real fast. I'm not going to be perfect. That's a lot of work instead of just cutting it into four slices and giving three of them away. Okay, so that's how, let me show you what that would look like. That would be three slices instead out of four. So that is essentially nine twelfths. Instead of doing all that work, just do three out of four and it's a lot simpler. Okay, let's do one where I mess up and then I realize I have to uh, simplify further. So for example, eight. Let's say, oh, I know they both have a common factor of two. So I divide the top and bottom by two and I get nine over, oops, sorry, that's not. <laughs> I get four over nine, right? Is that right? Oh, I think that is their common, greatest common factor. That's not... <laughs> <laughs> that so I the reason why I know it's my greatest common factor is because I have one, two, and four, and then I have one, three, and nine, and they don't have a share any except one, so I know I'm good there. I meant number seven. Sorry about that. Number seven, but that was also a good example why I know it's simplified. Number seven, it divide if I divide the top and bottom by two, I said, oh, twelve and sixteen both have a common factor of two. I'm gonna divide it. So I get six over Eight. And I'm like, ah, it's simplified. I divided both the top number by the same thing. We're good to go. Not so fast. So, yes, six out of eight or six over eight is a simpler form for 12 out of 16. It's not the simplest form. And the reason why I know is I can divide these numbers by two again. Six and eight also share a common factor. That's how I know I didn't divide it by the greatest common factor is if they still have a common factor. In this case, it's two again. So I get three out of four and now I'm done. So really what happened was if I list my common factors, I get one, two, three, four, six, twelve. And for 16, I have one, two, four, eight, and 16. You'll see the greatest common factor was four, not two. So if I would have divided by four, 12 divided by four is three. And then 16 divided by four is four. That would have been a quicker way to do it. But my other way of dividing and then dividing again also works, but it's not the best and most efficient way to do this. So that's all there is to this video. If you have any other questions on any of these other numbers, make sure to leave a comment. I would happily explain it to you. Make sure to check out my other videos on simplifying fractions. I know fractions can be tough, so make sure to search for that. Um, there's also a lot of great fractions worksheets on massimenders.com. Either way, I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.